Watch this! Now, normally against Shaman, I would assume it's even Shaman and I would pitch away the quest, but this guy is way down in the dumpster, so I'm going to assume that he is something janky and hang on to this quest. Turned our curse into our strength. Okay, well, he is just a dumpster, uh, even gentleman. Sure. I guess that's what I get for making assumptions based on his rank. Uh, unfortunately, this hand is kind of poopy. Because I don't have anything to do next turn, which is uh, turn three, and is fairly important. Oh my god. Wow. If only I didn't waste turn one with uh, playing out this quest. Am I going to have to coin Brawl on five if he plays a four mana seven seven here? That's one, two, three, four, five totems, so his thing from blows are one cost now. Did shield slam that. I think that's better than uh, using the coin there. Mostly because I just, like, need it dead. <laughs> Might bait out a Devolve. But having the Brawl in my back pocket is kind of nice. That's a big boy. See if I can get him to commit a little bit more here. Yep, yeah, that's a little bit more. I think I can get one more. Because he has to he has to trade pretty heavily into this, right? Unless he has Maelstrom Portal. Let's brawl. I don't want to get too greedy here. Okay, uh, that was one of the more common outcomes as a totem. It was only, what, 40% uh, that we get something scary. Holding onto this coin, and I'm not entirely sure what for yet. But. Elements I like. Totems I love. So it does four to everything. Yeah, it's a full clear. Apparently, this is what I was saving the coin for. That seems that seems worthwhile. You have a nice Christmas. Yeah, I did. Uh, it was uh, it was good to see family. Um, may have stayed just like a day too long for my taste, but uh, otherwise good. I've already seen one devolve. Let's just uh, get this finished. 
Seen one devolve, one lightning. Yeesh. Oh, it does count towards the quest. Now I know. Uh, Ziliax is a pretty good card, it seems. I can always super collide or whatever comes out of this if it's big, so I'm not really that concerned about this trade. Uh, that's a pretty big yikes. Wow. I mean, Army of the Dead just did him a favor there because he doesn't want Hagatha in this deck anyway, so. Really, he should be pretty grateful of that. Trade, trade, um, Super Collider. Bonk. Such a satisfying animation. Double Fire Ellie, Agatha the Witch. As a greedy list. So typically you have a bit more time against Hunter. Um, do I play Arena? Yeah, um, I play Arena pretty regularly. I don't spend money on packs, so that's how I get most of my... Uh, my packs. Bash and Super Collider seem good. Like, the Power Spike is the, um, the Spellstone, right? So we need to be prepared to deal with that. And so that's why it's a, it works a little bit slower than uh, some of the other matchups where you need more early game removal. And that's why I think keeping the quest is fine. None will survive. I'll never tell. Okay. So he is Secret Hunter. I might have to, uh, Point out this bash or the uh, Death Lord. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Death Lord seems fine here. Death does not scare me. You can always bash next turn if he has like a cloak tundras into a super buff. Trick and like um, wandering or explosive, maybe. Probably freezing trap. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Next turn, we if he has the spellstone, we attack face and just flurry. So because of that. Uh, actually, maybe I set this up. So it's going to proc the cat trick. And that's just fine, right? Because then he attacks into it. He brings a minion into play and sets up the uh, the reckless fl uh, flurry. So I'm really banking on him having the spell stone in this matchup. Or in this spot. I think it's that unreasonable given the way that he played. But um, isn't always the case. It's fine. It's still a really good pull because that's not now coming out of his uh coming into play. Let's kill it. And there's probably just no no reason to ever attack his face, right? Sure. Sure. We've still got Bash uh, Flurry to deal with this stuff, or even just Hero Power Flurry. I, see. I think Lopep is fine there. What are some Fight Wild decks so they don't use too many legendaries? Uh, Mech Hunter and um, Combo Priest? 
The combo priest is a little bit weaker than it used to be. Mech Hunter is still a strong deck, though. Okay, so he's out of secrets, right? It's either in his hand or... Uh, they're, he's just done with secrets. And we're just going to kind of hang out, uh, add some armor. We know one of those is probably Cat Trick, since uh, you always run two. We know one is Wandering. He might have a Wandering Stranded in hand. That might be what his leftmost card is. Or he still has... Uh, it's possible that he just still has a Wandering in his deck, right? That would make sense. Since I'm never attacking face anyway, this just doesn't matter. And I don't want to proc the cat trick, so I'm going to hang on to this. I think Zul'jin is the only thing that's really scary right now. Shutterwalk, uh, you think it's a good deck? Probably less good now because of the Serenite Chain Gang change. Um, I mean, Double Gangster does give you the ability to go infinite still, but um, like, it's a worse body and... Yikes. Did not think about Rat Trap. That's fine. I've got the, I've got the flurries. Um, it's a worse body and it doesn't have Taunt, both of which are uh, pretty relevant. I'm going to trade here and there and I just... I just don't care. I don't even actually need to use the flurry. Just trade and then uh, play the dynomatic back in. Or I can just complete the quest here. I think I like this better. I'll complete it next turn, and this allows me to gain uh, four more armor. We've got plenty of armor regain, so I'm not terribly concerned about this spot. Right. I think we can probably just start going face, right? That's, uh, that's a lethal. Easy game. Thank you.